Hi guys, it's Richard from Bagnall and Kirkwood here. So today's video, we're going to be discussing the new barrel connectors or inlets, transfer ports, whatever you want to call them from FX. So it looks like this new style is going to be used on all rifles from now on. It is interchangeable with all the old systems, so we're going to do a quick rundown of what's changed. So on your old gun, this is one of the dual transfer ports. It's a 2-2. You've got your pellet side, you've got your slug side, and what you would historically have is your inlet or your, um, what terminology really should be, is transfer port. Then had barrel connector, so this would attach onto this part, as you can see there, and your liner would go through here. The new style, it's all in one. So exactly the same, you've got your pellet side, your slug side on the dual transfer ports, but it's all fixed in one. So where are the differences? It's slightly shorter. As you can see, this one's got this little bit after the threads here. Another difference is that on these ones that use the barrel connector as well, there's an O-ring just on the inside of this that holds the liner. New one, completely flat. There's no O-ring on the inside. The two outer O-rings are still the same, and the breech O-ring, which isn't in place on these, is also still the same inside there. Um, so a lot of people have been asking why FX have done this. I'm not 100% sure, but we've been told by a couple of customers that it's to do with stiffening the whole system, just get rid of a little joint, if anything, tiny, tiny little fraction of movement, stiffens it up a bit more. One thing is good news, though, this unit has its own. This is cheaper to buy than it was to buy the transfer port and the barrel connector together. So the raw really came through in 2.2. We've got them on order in other calibers. So I'll put a link below on the website if anybody wants to take a look. Thanks for watching.